Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm going to show you a really interesting sewing project. So this is for beginners that are looking for a challenge or even for experienced ones that would like to see something a little bit different. So I'm doing a bag for wine or champagne bottles or pretty much any bottles. So this is an alternative to paper bags that are kind of planned and boring. So if you're um, looking for a way to make a wine bottle or a champagne bottle as an interesting gift. Um, this time you can make it really original and custom made. So I'm going to show you how to do this, but of course it's highly customizable. You can choose your own fabric, your own style, and yeah, you can even do different bottle sizes depending on what you plan for. So it's a really cool project, really interesting. I'm going to show you what I did and how I did it. Mine is out of cork fabric, but the fabric is completely up to you. So you'll need your iron, then some pins, this time some thread for sewing by hand of your choice. So I have here my transparent yarn, then a needle of course with the thread. And then fabric scissors, something to measure with and something to mark with, and of course, a fabric of your choice. Okay, so I prepped this a little bit and I have here two types of fabric. First, this furniture type fabric, so a little bit sturdier than usual. Definitely not stretchy, we don't want that with our project for today. So you can use fox leather or cork fabric. So in my case, I'm using cork fabric, but you can use pretty much whatever you want, even some decorative fabrics. So it's really up to you as long as it's sturdy and not stretchy. Then you can take a new piece and or make it out of the fabric itself. So two longer pieces like this that are going to be something like a band. You could do this out of different materials if you think they would match nicely. In my case, I'm using actually the fabric itself for it. So I'm doing everything out of one. So you see that I kind of ironed it to the inside so that I get nice and neat edges. And I'll do it one more time later to get a real rope or band shape. So you need the main pieces, so make sure you check the size according to the bottle you want to put inside. So I measured mine to make sure, and you will need four pieces in the same size. So I chose to do the inside and outside the same way. This is of course optional, you can do it in different styles or in different types of fabric. So feel free to consider that as an option as well. So, in my case, I have 40 times 17 centimeters. This is matching my bottle. I measured it and I took a little bit more than the bottle itself so that I have room for it and so that it's not too tight. And on top of that, I added about two centimeters for the stitches themselves since they do take up some fabric too. So that's why it's a little bit bigger. So 40 times 17 with the added length and width for some extra room and the stitches. And yeah, make sure you check with your own bottle you're using. So measure what you have and then adjust based on my example. So once again, mine is 17 times 40 centimeters, four pieces total. Also, you will need four pieces for your handle section. So two times the decorative fabric and two times your other or your base fabric. Which types you want to use is again completely up to you. In my case, I'm doing the inside, so the fabric itself and the hole will we will do on here as well, but first the size here is 17 to match the bigger pieces and the height itself is 15 centimeters. Then you will need the band that I showed you. So that's going to be here. So I made it for this specifically. So 
So I have five centimeters of width here and I folded it like this so that it's a bit less, but still very neat. And it's 54 centimeters long and I have two of those. So the handles are the most complicated ones, so I'll start right there. Put the two halves pretty side on pretty side like this. Also, you can pin if you like and then mark where you want your hole to be and that hole is going to build the handle. I'll measure so that it's precise, about 4 centimeters from the top. And about the same on the side. The shape is up to you, do it as you prefer. Now we will do the same with the two pieces, the other two pieces, so that it's the same on both sides. Okay, so I pinned it so that it stays in place and now I'll sew along the lines that I just marked. So, now we cover exactly what we drew on here and when you do that, make sure you secure the spot where you begin and end so that it doesn't rip when you use it and do that with both pieces and then you can get your iron ready. So let's cut this out, leave a little bit of fabric on the other side of the thread, but we do need a hole here. So now we can cut it in a bit like this so that we can fix it later so that it looks nice and neat. So now we can iron like this when we turn it inside out so that it looks nice. So flatten it and simply go over it so that you get a really neat iron result. Make sure that it's not too hot if you have fabric like I do that doesn't do well with high heat. So I'll do it from the other side and not too hot this time. Now that we cut this, we can turn this inside out like this. Okay, so now this should look a lot neater like this. So you see a little bit of fabric from the quirk side and I think it looks awesome. So now we will take our fake band. Open it up and sew together like this. I'll pin it so that it stays in place when I do that. So 
So nothing slips when you work with it like this and then we just go along the outer edge of both fabrics. So now that we did this, we can fold it to the other side. I'll do this by hand because I don't want the stitch to be super visible, so I'll do it myself just along the edges. I'll still pin it so that it stays together and I'll also make sure that I don't go through the other side. So just this side of the fabric. In my case, it's super easy since cork is thicker, so I'll know if I go through by accident. So I finished the sewing and this is what our handles look like now. So now we can get to the main section of the back. I'll take this and I'll put this together. I'll show you how to align. Make sure that you are in the middle so that you have equally wide pieces of fabric on both sides. Later, when you turn it, it will look just fine, so perfect. And we do the same on the other side, so we align and stitch the edges together. The next step are two halves coming together. So take both pieces and put them together pretty side on pretty side, so looking away from you. And here we pin together. We make sure that it's all nice and neat. So this stays like this. So all of this, and then we do the whole side to the bottom, the bottom as well, and the other side all the way to the top. Make sure that it's super neat. Feel free to pin if you need to. You'll be happy you did it when you see your result. You can do the same with the inside fabric. So sew it together like this, and then we will connect Now you gotta do the bottom. So pull the sides away like this so that you get a triangle shape on the bottom and take your time. So you see how I did this. This is what I wanted and then you measure the width that you want to have and 
you mark there and you do a stitch there. Do the same on the other side. Make sure that your stitch is nice and neat and then mark and do the same simple stitch on the bottom. You can also measure a different way. So you can measure from the bottom too. So like this, I think it's easier this way, but both ways are okay. So from the side or from the top. So after you did this, you can cut the corner off. Make sure the other side is the same as this one. The bottom of the bag is done, so let's turn it inside out. Now is the time to fix those corners and edges. And now we need our inside fabric that we also stitched up. So we have the bottom done nice and neat. And now we will push this through the opening in. Make sure that the stitches are on top of one another inside. And now we need to do this stitch. So for that, I'll turn the inside fabric inside out, but just the beginning like this. And then I want to take a look at my stitches. So this is the important part and align them like this. And then I'll do this by hand around the whole thing to hide all of the stitches and the braids. You can also take care that your tails and leftovers are all looking in the same direction. So just make sure everything is nicely aligned and doesn't form any weird bumps or um, yeah, weird things. Now that we did this, our bag is done, our stitches are well hidden, the bottom is secured, the handles are also secured, so perfect for a wine bottle or any bottle of your choice you want to give as a gift. So it can be personal and it's custom made. It makes giving away a bottle a lot more personal, a lot nicer, and I think it's a really great thing that you can adjust it according to the person you're giving it to. So yeah, if you're looking for an alternative way to take your bottles with you, so this is reusable, um, this is a great way to do it. So even if you're doing it for yourself, but it's also really cool because the person you're giving it to can give it to someone else later so it can keep traveling from one person to the other or they can keep using it for themselves. So it's a really cool gift. Feel free to let me know how you did it. So I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in our next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.